Hi everyone, my name is Nick Geisa from Oxford Instruments Asylum Research. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a new feature for Asylum Cipher and MFP 3D Infinity Atomic Force Microscopes called Get Started. Get Started makes your AC mode imaging in air easy by calculating the gain, drive amplitude, set point, and scan rate for you. That's right, Get Started optimizes your initial scan parameters and gets you imaging quickly and efficiently. Best of all, Get Started does all of this before you even touch the surface, reducing the chances of damage to your tip and sample. Many times when we start scanning a sample, we start with some nominal amplitude, gains, set point, and scan rate. Once we're on the surface and we start to see how well or how poorly we're tracking, we start to adjust these parameters to get our beautiful images. Sometimes, inexperienced users can get confused about all of the parameters that need to be adjusted. This can present a steep learning curve for the new user. Not only that, sometimes the gain can be set too low or too high to begin with. This means that even before you finish your first scan line, you can damage your tip or your sample. To address this, we at Asylum have developed Get Started. With Get Started, all of these parameters are chosen before you even engage on the sample. That way, you start getting high quality data from the very first scan lines without risking damage to your tip or sample. All you need to do is to tell Get Started a couple of things about your experiment. Namely, you will input your desired scan size, your desired pixel resolution, and your estimate of your sample's topography in nanometers. Last, you will tell Get Started which AFM probe you are using. After that, all you have to do is to follow the prompts to align your laser and move the tip up and down. Get Started does the rest. Let's take a look at Get Started in action. In this example, I'm using Asylum's Cypher S AFM. I've loaded in an AC55 probe as well as a sample. My sample is a bacterium grown on mica and then dried. I've already placed my probe into the cantilever holder and placed my sample on the scanner. I'll start by moving my scanner into the Cypher AFM and then pressing the Get Started button. If you look at the status area of the panel, you can see that Get Started is asking me to set some parameters. I need to tell Get Started how large I want my scan size to be, what the approximate sample roughness is, and what image resolution I want. Once that's set, I'm going to press the probe panel button. This will show me the probe panel, where I can tell the software which cantilever I'm using. Once I've done that, Get Started asks me to set the focus on the tip. I'll use the Engage panel and the video window to focus on my cantilever. As you can see in the video window, my cantilever is nicely focused. Once I'm happy with this, I press the Set button. At this point, Get Started is asking me to focus on the sample. This is important because the Get Real calibration has to be done far away from the surface so that the cantilever isn't unduly influenced by long-range surface interactions. Once I see my surface in the video window, I press the Set button. The last thing I have to do here is to align the laser on the tip. I'll use Cypher's Spot On feature to align the laser on the probe. Once I'm happy with this, I press the Laser Align button. At this point, everything else is automatic. The first thing that will happen is a Get Real calibration, where we calibrate the sensitivity and stiffness of the cantilever without having to touch it against the surface. This procedure will take several thermal spectra of the cantilever's fundamental frequency and fits its F0 and Q. From there, we can determine the spring constant of the cantilever using some models. Once the spring constant is calculated, we can use the thermal tune to calculate the cantilever sensitivity all without engaging the tip onto the sample. This is important because when you press a cantilever against a surface, as you would with traditional calibration methods, you run the risk of dulling or fouling your tip. By the end of these pre-engaged steps, Get Started will have calculated my ideal gain, scan rate, amplitude, and set point based on my earlier inputs and on these measurements. From here on out, I won't be touching the computer. I'll just stand back and watch the show. Once the thermal is done, the next thing that happens is an auto-tune. This finds the resonant frequency of the cantilever. Know that we're doing this pretty far away from the surface, which means that we're less influenced by different air layers or squeeze films on the surface. Once we engage, we'll do another auto-tune very close to the surface in order to take these effects into account. After the get real calibration and first auto-tune occurs, the AFM will automatically start to engage onto the sample. With the Cypher AFM, the motors will move the tip to set distance above the surface, and then it will auto-tune the cantilever. The AFM will then begin to search for the surface until it engages, and of course, right after that we'll do the last auto-tune. 
After that, the scan begins and the Get Started panel disappears until you need it again. Take a look at the master panel here. Here you can see that the nominal values we started with for scan size, rate, set point, and gain have been replaced by the settings Get Started as calculated for us. Here, I'll zoom into the right side of the computer screen so that you can get a closer look. On the left side is my height retrace, and on the right side is my amplitude retrace. As you can tell from the scan lines, the trace and the retrace match very well in the height channel. This indicates that I'm getting a good scan. On this scan, I can identify an individual bacterium on the mica surface. After I've gotten started, I'm free to play around and explore my sample. For example, on the last slide shown before we started scanning, you can see the very first image that we've captured here, as well as an image made after I zoomed in on the cluster of cells at the bottom right of the image. Well, that's all there is to it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you will find Get Started useful. If you have any questions about Get Started or about anything else, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at asylumresearch.com. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now go out there and get started.